So uh, let's do this one, the last one of the day. It says calculate the equilibrium constant, Keq, at 25 degrees Celsius for the galvanic cell reaction shown on the board. Okay, so um, that's a balanced uh, equal, a redox uh, reaction in an acidic solution. Hopefully you guys can tell that. Um, we're going to have to split this reaction up to figure out, well, what's the number of electrons transferred, okay? So how do we do this? Well, um, first thing I would like to do, because they don't give you too much information in this um, equation, uh, let's, or this problem, let's um, figure out what equation are we going to use. So we're going to use the uh, standard cell potential equation, so E cell, like that equals, so um, this is for standard conditions, 0 0.0592 volts divided by N times the log of KEQ. Okay? So that relates E cell, which we have up here, to KEQ, which is actually what we're looking for. Okay, is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay, remember this N, right? That's the number of electrons transferred. So, pardon me, how do we figure that out? Well, we're going to have to break this thing up into its half reactions. So, like we said, this is a balanced reaction already, so that was nice. And it's in acidic solution, so we can kind of avoid worrying about that part and about that part if you remember how to balance an acidic solution. And in fact, all you really have to do is figure out one of these half reactions, and the other one will be the same amount of electrons transferred, okay? So let's, well, we could do one or both of them. Let's just do one for right now, the more obvious one. Fe5, Fe2 plus aqueous goes to 5, Fe3 plus aqueous, okay? So 5 times 3, that's 15, right? 5 times 2, that's 10. So what do we need? We need 5 electrons here, okay? So plus 5 electrons, like that. So um, if you did the other half reaction, you would find that we'd be adding 5 electrons here. Um, we don't have time to do that right now, though, okay? So let's just... Um, write down our n equals 5 there, okay? So we have our E cell that's given to us up here. We have our n now. We just don't have KEQ. So let's rearrange this equation to solve for KEQ. So E cell, we'll multiply both sides by n. So standard E cell times n, like that divided by 0 0.0592 volts equals the log of KEQ. Okay, so what you do here now is you We're recording right now. Okay, so KEQ, we're going to raise both sides to the 10. Okay, so KEQ equals 10 to the Let's just plug and check. So, 10. Times 5. Like that. Hey, I'm so sorry.
0.0, or sorry, 0.74 times 5 divided by 0 0.0592. So we get up here 62.5. So 10 to the 62.5 is going to be 3.2 times 10 to the 62. And that's your KDQ. Okay? Any questions on that one? No. Okay. Okay, cool.